I think Jack's piece of cake is just way too big. I think you might be right. Uh, mm, you ready for bed yet? Mommy tucks me in. Tonight's one of the nights that Daddy tucks you in. Okay, Jack? No. Boy, you are stubborn. God, his daddy's worst trait. Mm, I do recall that's how I got my prom date with you, though. Hmm. Let's go. I'll be right down. <laughs> hey, come here. Come here. Look at me. Remember, your worst quality can also be your best. Okay? Here we go. And he's in for the score! <laughs> Good night, sweetie. I love you. thirsting for my penis. She's hungering for it. She can't see out of the back of her head, Nimrod. But I'm saying there are a lot of people. Yeah, and I'm a sexual being. Big whoop. I'm out there. Put myself in the field. I'm a predator. I'm like a yes. Another one. Just in time. Gives me an idea. <laughs> so. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jack. Thanks. Uh, hey, man. Hey. Hey, Jim. Good. Why are you sitting here? You feel okay? Yeah. All right. Well, I got my eye on a few ladies. You want to go? Uh, you want to go talk to them? I'm gonna do a little hunting, a little pussy hunting. I'm okay. Well, go on ahead. I have a, a favor to ask from you, though. Can you watch the door while I go to the bathroom? I really have to. Use the bathroom. I don't want to go in there. You know. Ah! God damn. 
Does uh, Stings. does your bro want to play flip cup? He's not. He's not my brother. Actually, he's my cousin. I don't we care. adopt I don't him. Care. I don't care. Ah, you keep saying stuff. I don't care. Do you want to play? I'm good. Thanks. I'll play. Do I need any dice for this? What's happening here? I like it. It's very good. Very passionate. Very sexy. If we could just get a little of this left hand down on the titty, just touch the titty just a little bit. Come on, what? Hi, Turner, how are you? What are you Hi, doing? I'm Turner. Nice to meet you. Uh, Hi, hello. These are very lovely boots. You mind if I sit right here in the middle here, real fast? All right. Ah, oh, so um, I'm here now. So why don't you guys just catch me up? Where were you two? You looked like you were somewhere about right here. Uh -huh. Hi. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. I don't think so. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well. Smell you later. Yo, who's that fucking freshman who's never smoked weed before? Oh, I've never smoked. That's, That's me. you? Yeah. Take your head right now. I'll take it. Oh, he should take it. Take your head. It's your birthday. No, 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 no. Oh, go for it. Dude, I don't have all day, man. All right, let's go. I'll do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you know how to, this is how you do it. Look, 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 look. You light, you light it and you just go. Can you light it for me? Can you light it for me? All right? Yeah, you got it. You got it. All right, go. Freshman, 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 freshman. That's weed insane. or some flash of just red. That's insane. No, that, you took I time get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. I swear, there's no way your dick is sore than mine is. No, I'm telling you, I really went to town on myself last night. Oh, yeah, you did. Whereas little Turner, he was taken care of by an experienced third-party participant last night. What? No way, you after girl? Oh, better. You told her you loved her? What? No, no, man, I got my dick sucked. Nice, you got in the forehead cam? Oh, every juicy detail. I mean, from her head just slowly moving down. Ah, uh, into the point of no return. <laughs> oh, yeah, brother. Enters your gravitational pull? Uh -huh. Just reel her in. I mean, if I'm the sun, she is the closest planet to the sun. Whatever planet that sucks dick. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or she's like the Millennium Falcon, you know, and she's getting drawn in by the tractor beam, and, and she can't escape because she's helpless. Jack, you must be reading the longest damn birthday card of all time over there. Hey, seriously, who's that from? It's uh, from Uncle Mike. Oh, Uncle Mike, how's he doing? He's okay. He invited me to come over to his place over winter break. Oh, just you and Uncle Mike. That sounds lovely. I'm not going. Can I see it? Okay, he didn't invite you. Says he's not going to be there. Oh, tight as fuck. Definitely going. All of us. What do you say, boys? Guys, I, mean, I don't think it's really a good idea. Oh, come on, Jack. You, you got to let me come, man. If I don't get to go away for winter break, my dad said he's going to make me work for him. You know how fucking lame that is, man? He works at Quiznos. Look, Uncle Mike is not really the epitome of fun. Fuck Uncle Mike, then. He's not even going to be there, he's right? He's not going to be there. Psych. Just us boys. Three guys. Mm-hmm. One cabin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Non-stop fellatio. All night. From oh girls. God, what the fucking touching, man? I'm trying uh, to I'm sorry. do my own thing here. Shit. I'm sorry. Uh. Hell, man, I know my whole family ain't getting into heaven, because if I get there and I see them, I'll know I'm in hell. I, I believe when I get to heaven, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a lot of just all that old pussy I had before I got there. It's going to be right there waiting for me again. Yeah, but I am really worried, though, about dying. It's not so much dying a virgin as just dying without, like, Doing anything. Nah, dude, you'll you know, be fine. I've done a little bit. You'll be not... good, man. That's why we're that's why we're taking this little vacay, man. I'm a teacher, my little my little cub, my little baby cub. All right, I can be your cub. Yeah, I'm brother. Not like right. Suckling on your nipples. Yeah, no, no, cave. no, none of that.
Oh, man. What the fuck is this, man? This is my uncle's house. Well, I mean, was it in a fire or something, man? Come on. This looks like a fucking turd. No, it's rustic. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, this place doesn't exactly give me, you know, warm, cuddly feelings. Isn't that why you brought your shotgun? You're just a, a crazy person. So, wait, I got, I got. Good grab. Oh, a little chilly. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. At least the inside looks nicer than the outside. Ooh, shotgun biggest room. No way, that's the Hey Jack, it's Uncle Mike. Just checking in. I wanna make sure that you got in all right. Um look, I am not gonna be around for the next uh, week or so, and I'm not gonna have any cell service where I am, so I uh I guess I'll I'll just see you when I get there. Um be careful. I'll wake you up with my midget porn and you're right, not complaining. Over. You brought it on yourself. Damn it. What are we supposed to do? Live like fucking Jedediah and his Amish goddamn bagmates or what? We'll call someone tomorrow. No, I want a I want a flashlight right now. Where's our flashlight? I don't know. Sorry, this will work. No, it won't work. I'm in the middle of a battle. Can you pause it, please? Would you pause it, Turner? You're being inconsiderate. I got there. I got there to pick you up. I can get home safe. And you only have your learners. You don't have a wallet on you. You're wearing a garbage bag. So where did you sleep last night? A dumpster. <laughs> why, why are you sleeping in a dumpster? I don't know. You know, if it's something weird, like some fetish thing, I, I get it, all right? Let's just say I get it. So you can tell me if you want, you know. I'm into some nasty shit, I'm sure you gotta 
we're related. You must have some weird stuff going on. It's actually. Take you over to your cousin's house, okay? Okay. Promise me something, Jack. When you turn 18, if you feel sick, you won't be afraid. Repeat after me. When I'm 18, when I'm 18, if I feel sick, if I feel sick, I won't be afraid. I won't be afraid. Hey, Crystal, what's up? It's Turner. What? No. No, no we, we haven't met. No, we was the, the app just a few minutes ago, remember? No, no, I, I'm the guy that sent you the photo of, of just his balls. Yeah, you wrote back, like, right away. Yeah, no, the cute balls. Yeah, with the, with the razor blade next to him. Baby, come on. I swear I'm not a serial killer. I mean, the app I'm using says we're only two miles away. Jack, where are you going? Uh, just out for a walk. Yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking wet. Would you get off the phone with your mom already? I'll fucking kill you, I swear to God. Hang up. He has the gene. Shit. Well, I don't know what we were expecting. The chance didn't hold. I need you to get the cage. It's your responsibility. You know I can't. Someone could recognize me. I'll arrange to get it there tomorrow. He needs it tonight. Well, I can't get it tonight. Mike, I don't want to go back there. Look, I've done my best to lead normal life, and I'm not about to fuck it all up right now. We had a pact. You're lucky I'm even talking to you. He's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. What? It's not a fucking real roach, you fucking idiot. It's, I know, it's a piece I was just of cardboard. kidding. Jesus. I'm just joking. Oh my god. Ah, shit. What the fuck is this? Ah. Uh, it'll probably turn on in the morning like yesterday. <sighs> what the fuck, man? This is Jack's uncle's house. He should be here dealing with this shit. Do you know the story about Jack's family, by the way? Yeah, his mom, like, shot up his dad or something, right? No, it goes way beyond that. A lot more. All right, well, every family has problems. I mean, <laughs> shit, my dad used to be an alcoholic. Still is, we just got over it. And they have a Wikipedia page, just uh -oh. about them. Oh, God. Yeah, okay? It all started with um, Jack's mom's oldest sister, Margaret. She went into the city with her boyfriend for a romantic night out, mm -hmm. right? They're going to get dinner. And after dinner, he surprised her. He had a hotel room at the Waldorf Astoria. It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's a nice hotel. I would do dirty things to stay in there. You hotel. would do dirty things for free. Because listen, the next morning, the maids come in, boyfriend's dead. Head split open like a pumpkin or a melon or a watermelon. Hmm. And Margaret, she's hanging from a chandelier. Dead too, obviously. Jesus. Killed herself. Yeah. Oh, but, you know, Jack's mom that gets a little nastier. She took l much longer to go crazy. You know, she waited, you know, years. And then one night, when Jack was around five or six, his mother just went ballistic. Cut her husband's face open with a razor. Really tore in. Like, gruesome. Okay. My parents, they still don't understand how one night a person could be completely normal, friendly, interesting, nice, and then the next, homicidal. They never even found her body. Just her clothes, completely soaked in blood. Oh, but the worst one? The worst incident by far is Uncle Mike. Our Uncle Mike. He was in Europe taking an overnight train from Brussels to Amsterdam. And the next day, when the train pulled into the station and the conductor came to open the doors, he found 12 bodies, dead people, just slaughtered, torn up, cast all over the walls. You know, it was just disgusting. There was guts everywhere. It was really just gruesome stuff. 
awful stuff. The only guy that made it was Uncle Mike. So naturally, he's a suspect, but they couldn't find his fingerprints on anything, and frankly, it didn't make any sense that a scrawny teenager could have killed an entire car full of people, you know? Not like the way whoever did it did it, because they tore, like, jaws off and shit. I mean, God. Holy shit, you're fucking related to these people. No, it's through uh, Jack's father, so I'm not psycho. Whew. Oh, all right, that really tired me out. I'm going to go to bed. You should bundle up, okay? Heat's off. I love you. Don't shoot him. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Medics on the scene found the victim's body was cut in half. Authorities speculate a rogue Since black bear may be Shh. responsible for the attack. And authorities are urging all residents to remain vigilant while carrying out their daily activities. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family and friends of Mars Wright. What exactly did you see, miss? Um, I was waiting for it a train home and I heard a noise and then this thing ripped him apart. Fuck. Now, ath authorities are saying that it was a black bear. Is that what you saw? Um, I'm sorry, I can't answer any more questions. Morris Wright, the victim, 25 years old, black male. Fuck. Survived by three sisters and Must have been one big bear. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I think with bears you're supposed to stand and scream. I think that's the standard procedure. Mm -hmm. hmm. Obviously they weren't in the Boy Scouts.
Hey, Jack. Um, if you want to keep sleeping outside, that's totally okay, but can you just let me know? You look like shit. But you're really soft. Have you been using moisturizer? I'm done with interviews. I came to... I was at the station last night. Where? On the other side of the track. Did you see the attack? I heard it. What are you doing? Hold on. Why do you have this? Don't touch him, he's sick. So what'd you see last night? I didn't get a good look at it. A big gorilla. You don't believe me. No, I do, I do. Was it weird looking? What did it look like? Was it big or was it weird and, and hairy? Lou, who is it? Time for you to go. Please, please. It's got my address on it, okay? I'm not taking it. Nobody tells me there's a guest in our house? He just came to talk to... Who came to talk? Jack. Well, I'm Gonzo. Well, did she fix you a drink? Rose, did you fix our guest a drink? He didn't want a drink. Just because you suddenly sobered up doesn't mean our guest has to. No, really, I'm fine. Rose, pour the scotch. The good scotch. Rox? You'll have to excuse my wife's poor hospitality. I mean, she looks sexy sitting on my couch, but she just isn't into the whole housewife thing. Guess I spoil you too much, huh, babe? Guests first. Let's see. Now you want to hold that with a with a strong rib. So what brings you to my castle, Jack? Told your wife I heard the attack. Oh, shit. So you were there with that Nick? When Morris Wright got killed? It ripped his whole bottom half off, didn't it? Maybe you could tell me what happened to her wedding ring. This is an important investor. I gotta go. Rose, if you will. What up, motherfucker? Oh, I'm ready to bake cakes. I just need some flour. Hey. If you need anything, let me know. Thank you for coming. What are you doing? Just rolling a joint. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a big milestone for me, so if you cannot just hover over me, that'd be great. Why are there animal crackers all over the ground? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really focused on the animal crackers because this is my second time smoking, so it's gonna be my first time getting high. So it has to be perfect. See, it's not too tight. You gotta let the grass breathe. Lesson number one. All right, come to my room, all right? Okay, I'll be there so Oh, shit.
Här har du dig. Kusselor. Okej. Okay. We watching. Just watch this. Well, this is creepy. This is like a YouTube video? No, it's from the GoPro. Is that the girl from the news? <laughs> you killed someone! You killed somebody! I think I'm a werewolf. <sighs> That's a really bad legal defense. We're gonna need to get a lawyer. Look, We're gonna need to work on look that. at the hands. Those aren't my hands. Oh my God. Do you think I'll turn soon? We should call someone. And what happened to your dick? That's the real question, you know? Did that transform too? Did it get much bigger? What? That would be good. You should definitely call someone. Uh, hello. Wade here from Nana's Attic. Uh, uh, looks like we got an item here for you to pick up. Oh, fuck. Okay, I got some bad news. What? I have some bad news. What? Uh, we got like four more days of you turning into a werewolf, it turns out. All right, isn't it only supposed to last like one more night? No, the moon only has to be basically full for you to transform. And I'm looking at the lunar calendar, it says that we got four more nights of basically full moons. We're losing sun, this is... <sighs> Fucking Christ. Okay, if the sun goes down, I'm dropping you in the woods. Because I, I don't think I should be in the same car with you. Thanks. What do you expect? I'm not gonna die for you. Well, I mean, I died for you. I'm not gonna just die. I'm not even dying for you. You'd just be eating me. I'm not gonna be your dinner. I'd, sacri I'd sacrifice myself. But that's a different situation. Anyway, I don't know why I'm explaining myself. Hi, I'm here to pick something up. Name? Jack. Jack Lusky. ID? I lost it. We're in a big rush. If there's any way you could hurry up, it'd be great. Out there. Excuse me? Yeah, that's a nice one. Uh, had a little wear and tear, but it's sturdy as hell. Must have been a rich lady to afford a cage like that. Real nice lady, too. This is excellent ironwork up here. Son, will you get down from there before you kill yourself? Sorry. Sorry about that. The truck's for me, too. I'll drive my car. Fellas? Oh, I'm so hot. Yeah, there you are. Hotter than your profile picture, that's, that's rare. <laughs> that's gotta be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you do know about law and stuff. Well, it's kind of non sequitur, but I guess. I just, I got this friend Jimmy, and he was asking me if, uh, you know, if an intruder broke in your house, and and this intruder, say, had a, had a record, and was wanted for murder, and, and you killed them. Is, is that a crime? Well, it doesn't matter if they're a murderer. In order to kill somebody, you have to feel like your life's in danger. Yeah, but it wouldn't matter either way, though, right? You wouldn't get punished if this was a bad person. <sighs> okay, well, the Jew that killed Lee Harvey Oswald still got in trouble. Are we good? <laughs> so, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a little out of it, I guess. Mm. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just not in the mood. I... Well, it's not what this little guy says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say that, because I actually call him Little Turner. Oh, so he's little. <laughs> oh, he never stays little. That's, that's the trick. Mm. I got an idea. Yeah, what's that? Mm. You care if I film this? Only if I get a copy. <laughs> oh, you are amazing. Mm, come here. You stay right here. Will do. Don't move. Just forget about it. I know where it is. Just stay right here. Don't move. Hold that thought. Mm. No gas. Oh, shit. The car doesn't have a warning light or anything? Man, how much time do you think we got? Oh, God, I don't know. When do you usually transform? I don't know. Do you put the cage on the car? No, nah, no way. It's way too small. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, man! Shit, we're in Relax. big trouble here! We'll be fine! No, you're gonna be fine! You're gonna be okay, and I'm gonna- you're gonna eat me! Help me with the cage. See, with the, if the werewolf you eats me, it's not because it's evil, it's because it's a monster. This is good. Okay. See, so, if werewolf you eats me, it's, it doesn't make it evil. It's just a monster, you know? It doesn't have any control over it. That sounds pretty evil to me. No, not if you don't have a choice. See, like, you know, like the Hulk? See, if the Hulk, what? You put the Hulk in a terror space, it just destroys everything in its path. And it's a hero. You drop the Hulk in a church, and you know, it's obviously not a hero. That's what makes it a monster. It doesn't have a choice. Okay. Lock is on. Good. Take off all your clothes now. Give me your watch. All right, but why? I really like this watch. Just give me your watch. I won't break it. Okay. All right. There you go. Nice. And now take off your clothes. What? I need, I need your clothes. You'll rip them when you transform. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, right, please. It's fine. Here, okay. Thank you. Oh, and the jacket. I need the jacket too. No, I'm keeping my jacket. No, 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 you'll tear it when you transform. It's a nice jacket. You don't want to tear that jacket. I'll take it off before. You want to figure you're not able to, though. It'll be like an experiment, you know? You love experiments, right? I do like it. Okay. All right. Get out of here. No, I, I want to watch. No, <laughs> Brandon, get out of here. You saw the footage. Ah, uh, no, fine, okay. Fine. Wait. What? What do you do about food? Uh, Oh, I got, I got crackers. Shit. I'll see you later. Good luck. Bye. Can you walk Joey? And what would be the point of that, sweetheart? He needs to get out. It's healthy. That dog ain't healthy. And it ain't never going to be healthy because I am not spending $10,000 of my money to fix his broke ass. All right. 
I'll walk him. Come here, Joey boy. Yes. Let's go for a walk. Let's me and you go for a walk. Mommy said, let's go for a walk. So, let's take you for a walk. Off we go. Holy shit, you wouldn't believe it. His legs must have healed. He ran away. Night, babe. All right, babe. So, this is the Remington 12 gauge. I'm gonna teach you how to fire this shotgun. Girls yes. fucking sexy as you needs to know how to fire a gun, all right? <laughs> Too many predators out there. I know. So, you're gonna take, you got your safety mechanism here, your trigger. That's where you're gonna throw the shell. You're okay. gonna throw it in there, you're gonna cock it. Put it up to your shoulder, find your target, and fire. All right, so there's no ammo now. I just want you to learn how to like hold the gun, okay. get, a, get a sense of the weight of it. Seems easy enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> go, you got it. I need like a go. smaller one. Yeah, we'll get you a mini. <laughs> <laughs> right, so just aim it like them flock of birds out in the distance there. I mean, there's no ammo, but just you know, get a sense of it. There you go. Oh, baby, you're so <laughs> fucking good with a fucking shotgun on. Mm. Jack? Open the fucking cage. Okay, one second. It's, it's open. No. <sighs> what is that? Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. That's nothing. There you go. You should get in the car. It's warmed up for you. All right. Come here. Come here. Man. Oh. This is so broke back right now. Oh shit. Oh. We can't have him knowing about this. Why? Because I fucking killed someone. Oh right, yeah. That's fucked up by the way. Yeah, morning to you too, Jack. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hey, hello. So you got a new truck. And what's with the cage? <laughs> uh, this is for Uncle Mike's uh, cat. Oh my god, I love cats. <laughs> that a cage for a cat. That cat must be fat as shit. <laughs> yeah, well, it's an outdoors cat, so it just mostly sticks in the, you know, the back. Uh -huh. Hunts rodents. Oh. Well, can we play with her? Sure, if you can find her. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty! Kitty! Who's that girl, by the way? What, her? Yeah, that's, uh, that's Crystal. Yeah, she's my slaying piece. Met her online, and God, she just gives me the biggest boners. It's romantic. Yeah. Well, I'll let you get back to whatever the fuck Houdini trick you're planning. I'm out of here. Baby! Have fun. Oh, one sec, Brandon. Oh, hey, Tony. <clears throat> Hey, man. I feel like we haven't chilled much since we got here. Yeah, I know. Sorry, just not been feeling too well. Yeah, it's all right. By the way, you, you haven't seen the GoPro anywhere, have you? No. Well, it's funny, because I actually found it in this room just the other night. All footage mysteriously gone off of it. That's weird. Yeah. It must have been Brandon making one of those movies. One of those movies. You know. Yeah. Well, this was fun. Let's chill some more, all right? Definitely. Okay. Oh, can I get my watch back, by the way? Oh, I still need it. Right. Why?
All right, awesome. I'll set the watch for you. And I'm setting it to 8, 20, two. There you go. Thanks. I got it, don't worry. Hi. Can I help you something? Hey, Jackie. How you doing? Oh, uh, no, this is Brandon. Brandon. What's up, kiddo? Oh, nothing much. I'm just mapping out some strategies. Uh, hex strategies. For uh, future tourneys. It's uh, Settlers of Catan. Do you play? Yeah, that's great, homie. Listen, where's Jackie at? Wait, um, who are you? I'm that motherfucker. Huh, uh, could you be more specific, please? It's Gonzo. Tell him to come by my spot. He knows where I'm at. Ring Jack out or I'll crush your skull. Uh, do you know a Gonzo? I don't think he's gonna come. I'm sorry. Uh, if it was me, I would go. Oh, okay. Well, this... <laughs> I don't know if you have to be this rough, sir. I think it's a little unnecessary. So, um... If you could have him back here before 8 o'clock, that's really important, you know. I really, that's, that's essential. You could have him here before 8. Jackie? How you doing? Can I get you anything? A cigarette? A scotch? Oh, right. You don't drink. Coke? I'm fine. Thanks. So, Jackie boy. What did you see that night at the train station? I don't remember much. You don't remember much? Well, Rose was there. And then the black bear came. And then Rose came running to help when she heard some screaming. So, my candy ass, narrow behind wife. Came running when she heard some screaming from a motherfucker she doesn't know was being attacked by a black bear. You know, Jack, a lot of people are afraid of me. Do you know why a lot of people are afraid of me? Because I'm strong. And yet I am a pillar to the community. You know, I donate over 10% of my profits to the Boys and Girls Club. Love kids, Jackie. See, 
The key to my business is know the truth, avoid the sleuth. Now, I avoid the sleuth. And you best believe I want to know the truth. So I'm only going to ask you one more time. Was that motherfucker at the train station with my wife? They were there, but not together. Time you see my wife, text me, okay? Baby, I think Jack should stay for dinner. I don't see why not. I can't. Stay. I made plans with my cousin. Brandon? Yeah. Mm. Oh, is that the kid that followed us here? Oh, well, bon appetit. Hey, ain't that the chick from the news? No, don't be racist. Did you boys ever try a tapenade? Mm -hmm. I make a mean tapenade. Yeah, it's my grandmother's recipe, actually. When my grandmother died, she passed it down to my mother. When my mama died, she passed it to my older brother. And when my older brother was murdered, I found the recipe in his wallet. Hmm. So, Brandon, Turner, were you guys at the train station that night with Jack? No, you we weren't. What night we were is this? Can you change the topic? Oh, I'm sorry, what night is this? Could you please pass the tapenade? Seems evident that you boys were not there the night that Morris Wright was tragically killed. Yeah, why were you there, Jack? You never told me you went to a train station. Thought we told each other everything. All of a sudden, you're keeping secrets. Why were you at the train station? To... I, I would like to make a toast. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I'm sorry. No. Go ahead, Brandon. Make a toast. It's fine. Make a toast. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, this is a lovely house. It's very exciting to be here for dinner. And uh, I, had a, I had a tough semester last semester at college, socially. Uh, but I made it. I persevered thanks to my two best friends here who I love. And uh, it's really exciting again, to be meeting all of you, especially Carl. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, to friendship. <clears throat> and whatever the fuck that little guy was talking about. Mm. And now that our palates have been cleansed, the top of that. In a few seconds, get me in the kitchen. Mm. I'm gonna go check on the chicken. Mm -hmm. mm. This is some fantastic top and mm. mm -hmm. Excellent. Really great. It's always great. Can you help with that? Can you help me? Yeah. Not with that. He killed the dog. He killed Joey. I'm, I'm so sorry. I told him you weren't, so there's no way I'll know. I'm gonna start. 
start showing soon. You're pregnant? <sighs> Babies cost a lot more than dogs. You wouldn't go, baby. Yeah, if it were his. Can you help me? Rose! With two shots in, no entree. And that is the first time Brandon ever sucked on a titty. True story. True story. Only last week? Yeah, it was just last week. She was like, who's this little kid? And I was like, oh, his name's Brandon. I don't remember saying exactly those words. Well, whatever, you were drunk. Oh, anyway, that looks nice. Say what uh what, what kind of scotch are we drinking by the way? You heard of Johnny Walker Blue? I I I've heard of Johnny Walker Black. Welcome to the blue, son. I'm feeling kind of sick. Brandon, can I get the keys? Oh yeah, yeah. Lim before the entree, Jack? Yeah, stay for the entree, Jack. I would. I'm just feeling very nauseous. Thanks for the hospitality. I enjoyed the top of night. Okay, we gotta follow him. Why to watch him vomit? No, no, something ain't right. I wanna fix it. It'd be really rude. You can't, you can't just leave. <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Gonzo. Um, may I please be excused? Well, what is going on here, fellas? Did you not enjoy the top nod? No, no, I, I did very much. Very much. Thank you again for that. I'm just concerned with my friend. Wanna make sure he's okay. Sure. Go. Carl, I'll call you later. Thank you for dinner. Wait, this isn't the fucking way. Well, I'm taking the scenic route. The fucking scenic route? Do I look like I have time to take the scenic route? I'm calling the fucking cops. No, please don't call the cops. No cops. Fuck you, man. You're trying to protect him with that cage. I'm not bullshit. trying to protect I know him. I'm not, going I'm, on. I'm trying to bust him. That's all, okay? You know, it's Jack. It's gonna be one huge misunderstanding. You're gonna feel uh, like no, shit. No, no, no. You have exactly two minutes to get there before I call the fucking cops. Fine, call the police. They're gonna come and find Jack vomiting. Big deal. That's not a crime. I mean, we're the ones with weed on us. You think that's a smart idea to call the police when we have weed on us? It's not. It's not a smart idea. Go. Nine. Fine. I don't care. One. Your own funeral. One. All right, all right, all right, okay? Stop. I'll take you. God damn right you will. Oh, I just, 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 shut the fuck up. I don't hear anything. That's really good news. That's such good news, because that our job is done here, then. I don't think That's so. It. I want to know what's in here. All right, wait one second. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not go in there. Why? I've had some homosexual feelings lately t towards you, and oh my God, I wanted Brandon. to talk to you about it. It could hurt our friendship. Don't fucking lie to me, Brandon. Don't fucking lie. You? I will open it this day. Don't be flat. fucking lie to me, Brandon. All right, fine. I'm over. What? Why? Jack's in there, and he's a werewolf now. And he's gonna turn into a werewolf, and we go in, and he kills us. Oh and that's God, you are goddamn so full of shit. You kill us. Goddamn kidding. That's what I'm telling you. Let me you. in here, Brandon. Get off. Get off me, Brandon. I'm not fucking kidding. Now open that goddamn door. All right, fine. Fuck. Ah, dude. Hey, Jack. It's us. What the fuck are you guys doing here? What the fuck are you doing in here? I, I'm sleeping here. What kind of fucked up psycho creep are you? Turner, you gotta listen to me. Go upstairs now, please. Brandon, help me out. No, don't talk to Brandon, all right? I know you two are full of secrets. Now tell me what the hell's going on. Turner, 
I will explain everything tomorrow. Right now, you just gotta get out of here. <laughs> well, this would be the first time a member of your family's had some explaining to do. Get, get back here. Brady, get the lock. Oh, oh shit. Lock. No, no, I, no, I know something's up, man. This fucking cage and you sneak it out at night and the bloody GoPro. Turn it. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, Holy shit. Turn it. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Brandon, Brandon, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, we're gonna get you to the hospital. You should be okay. You should have seen yourself. It wasn't me. You looked awesome. It was the werewolf. I'm sorry. Come on. Call. Please call Prost. Why? I don't want to die a virgin. <laughs> Do you think I'll have enough blood for a boner? It's gonna be okay, you're gonna live. Phone. Come on. Fuck. Come on, Brandon. Fuck.
Mike. I haven't heard from you. I hope you're okay. Look, we had a pact. The gene was supposed to die with us. I thought that was clear. I don't know what you're trying to sustain here. Sedating Jack. Hoping he finds the cage. This is no way to live. What the fuck is going on? The lady, why was she here? What else do you know? Did she say anything? In the cage, why now? Welcome to Nana's attic. You'll never get the answers you want by asking so many goddamn questions. So you know something? No, that was just a piece of advice. Unfortunately, in this case, I genuinely don't have an idea of what the fuck you're talking about. Got a map? Where are you headed? West. West? You don't need a map to follow the sunset. I'm going to Colorado. It's a pretty good road trip. You'll be on I-80 West for about 2,000 miles till you hit the mountains. I don't imagine you'd make a trip like that by yourself. I'll be fine. No, son, I don't think you will be. What about that nice lady who bought you those nice things? Maybe she could go with you. But what about that friend of yours, the strange one? They're not coming. Son, ten years ago, I had a lot of shit. My wife was battling cancer. My son went bankrupt in the city, and my mama couldn't remember my name. A man is measured by the weight of the people leaning on him. Not too many people leaning can knock it down. You're being a bitch. Just going west. West, north, south, fucking Antarctica. No matter where you go, you're being a bitch. Not so fast, son. This makes two times you've been in my store and you haven't bought a goddamn thing. My advice may be cheap, but it ain't free. We'll fix the problem tomorrow. I forgive you.
Remember, your worst quality can also be your best. Okay? Promise me something, Jack. I won't be afraid. If Werewolf You eats me, it doesn't make it evil. It's just a monster. It doesn't have any control over it. That's what makes it a monster. It doesn't have a choice. Trust me. Hold on to this. Drive over to my place. See you in the morning. Check this out. Huh? Oh, babe, thank you. I, I'm just not very hungry. I appreciate it, though. Oh. Okay, um, huh? well, I guess just put it in the fridge. Um, I'm probably gonna go. What? No, why? Well, I don't really know why I even came after the last time. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry about that. That was total horseshit on my part. And uh, I know I disappointed you the other night. And I want tonight to be special for us, <laughs> all right? Can you give me one more chance? Hmm? I guess. Yeah. You do look a little off. And I, I feel know. bad. It's all right. How about tonight? You, me, little Turner, hang out. Hmm? What do you think? Um, hmm. I mean, I didn't drive over here for nothing. I know. So. I know. I'll make it worth your while. Okay. All right. This is your last chance. Okay. So why don't you get ready, and I'll meet you upstairs in five minutes. myself some scotch. <laughs> you have got some balls coming here tonight. You lying motherfucker. Well, enjoy that scotch. Because I am about to beat your ass. Jack, it seems you like to play games. Let's play one of my favorites. Now the rules, simple. My boys are going to press pressure points on you. You are going to scream. And then I'll give you this stress ball. Squeeze it. Hopefully it'll help calm you down. Carl told me Jack, you shouldn't lie. Boys. Turner. Babe. you scare me, I'm not going to suck your dick. Jack! Uh, 
Don't lie to me, Jack! Never! What the, what the fuck is this, Gonzo? Shit! What the fuck? some milk?
Where's yours? Follow me. No, I'll follow you. Inside. In the barn. In the cage. What are you doing? Just get in the cage. So I got that watch of yours? Yeah. Give it to me. You got an alarm set for 822. I'll see you at 820. Over there. Right there. Get out of the cage, Jack. Get out of the cage, Jack! Over there. You gotta put me back in the cage. Uh, time to confess, Jack, and you don't have much time. Turner, I gotta get back to that One cage. One more step and I'll shoot you right now. You won't shoot me. I'll shoot you right fucking now, just like I shot your mom. There's my confession. Answer my questions. Did you kill Brandon? What do you want out of it? Did you kill Brandon? Yes. Did you kill Morris? Yeah. Did you kill Crystal? No. She was torn up just like Brandon was. Did you kill her? Turner, I swear I didn't kill Crystal. No. Okay, I gotta get back to that no, cage. No, 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 no one's gonna believe there's a werewolf unless it's caught on camera. Look at him! All these murders are getting put on the werewolf that I'm gonna kill with my silver bullet. Silver bullet? What? Five seconds till I'm a hero. Turner, that's not gonna fucking work. You gotta shoot me now. Kill me now. Shut this is not a fucking fuck up, Jack. Shut the fuck up! I'm the good guy here! I killed Morris! 
<laughs> I will kill you both. You can only kill a werewolf with a silver bullet. Welcome to the family. Oh, 
like it what you see. Doesn't like it what I see. Are you like it what you see? Yes, I'm like it what I see. Are you liking what you see? Yes, I'm liking what I see. Are you liking what you see? Yes, I'm liking what I see. Are you liking what you see? Yes, I'm liking what I see.